Oh, this is sick. I think I'm gonna puke. What's all this equipment? And why was it in... Fuck, what if the Soviets sent someone to follow us? Well, there's the fuse. So the fucker who gutted the animal has also been in our house. In our basement. If this isn't a threat, then I don't know what is. At least I've got the goddamn fuse. Time to go to the basement and turn the power back on. I don't like this. Someone's butchered a deer and the evidence suggests that sick fuck has been in our house. I remember back in the day, some twisted kids in the area played with the occult, but I don't think this could have been them. Besides, the equipment that was inside it looked like a military grade. But clearly, the locals make new neighbors feel welcome. I just hope they don't mistake us for turkeys on Thanksgiving. Power's back on, I guess. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe it's no big deal, maybe I've just been reading too much Poe. Well, my job here is done. I better go back under Emma's thumb, considering her mood swing. And it's only the third month, what's it gonna be like by the ninth? Boom! Jesus, woman! <laughs> You want me to have a heart attack? Cool, huh? Wonder if some magician used to live here. Sure, Harry fucking Houdini. Maybe he's never gotten out of that hat. Actually, where did you find it? I just read about one like this. Upstairs. Now watch carefully. <laughs> if it's a rabbit, I want it for dinner and a stew. Ta-da! Clever. You think you can sugarcoat the work for me with magic? <laughs> where do we start? Darling, do I really have to remind you what the doctor said? Uh, you've done it plenty of times already, but really, I don't have to sit idle all the time. Still, in your condition. It's not critical. I'm just pregnant, remember? But fine. If I can't help you, I'll pester you with questions. Have they called you from work yet? No. And did you give them our new number? 
Honey, it's the government. They even know the angle you're tilting your head at. Ugh. Gives me the creeps. Ever thought about doing something other than, you know, cryptanalysis? I mean, before you joined the CIA? Like what? Like, um, something that doesn't come with being responsible for millions of lives. Some job without all the spies, agents, and double agents lurking behind your back. Without the constant feeling that you can't trust anyone. Um, not really. Besides, I can trust you, right? What are you staring at? Can you move that piece of furniture? There's something behind it. regret putting that thing on my head. I wonder who that guy was. Maybe if we hang this in the bedroom, you'll come to us in our dreams and tell us everything. I'd hang you first. Okay, okay. Sorry, buddy, you're going to the basement. That's the proper place for gentlemen from the previous century. Titled Crisis of Identity was concluded with a reflection concerning the Soviets. Their most powerful weapon is not the atom bomb, but a unique capacity to drive other nations into madness and chaos. Carter believes that at this stage of the Cold War, our nation needs unity more than anything else, because our enemy's only chance is in making Americans doubt their government and all the values this country has been built upon. In other news, the St. Louis Cardinals won yesterday's game at the Memorial Stadium.
And if I don't pick up the phone, it'll never stop ringing. So, this is it, boss. This is the moment when you start to rush me and I start to sweat. Well, I don't want to press you too much, but I haven't heard from you for a week now. So I thought, maybe he was killed by bears or wolves. I'd better call him. Because you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck in every possible way. <sighs> you're not the only one. Three quarters of the team were assigned to work on the Russian woodpecker. And on top of that, Harold has vanished. Harold? The one who intercepted the telegrams? What happened? I don't know. Stress. He's been paranoid lately, seeing Soviets everywhere. Either he went nuts and did something stupid, or those Soviets did get him after all. Fuck! O on our soil? Well, they could be anywhere. And... I don't want to think he's playing both sides. To make it even worse, Bill and Mildred will shut down the project if we don't make a breakthrough in the next few weeks. I've got the documents from Janice with me. I'll get down to work. Good luck. And give my regards to your wife. I'll call you in a few days. There goes my vacation. The cipher machine is in the office. I've wasted enough time already.